Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Earthbound. Let me turn down my volume a little bit here. There we go. And once we walk into town here, I believe we're supposed to be approached by somebody, aren't we? Oh, yeah, there she is! Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. Uh, I kinda need to hang on to this money. I'll be your shadow then. What? Yeah, and she kinda like, stalks us for a while. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. I feel like I'm moving slow here. What's this building up here? No, no, no. Check it. All of our products are blessed. Oh, it's the drugstore. Good. That's what I wanted to find. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. No, no, no. What are you doing? And we're gonna... Let's see. I believe there's... Yeah, the sandlot bat. We want that. You cannot carry anything else. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the bat we've got now. The t-ball bat. We've been using that one for a while. And we're going to buy the sandlot bat. Well, not enough money. Oh, goodness. Let's go over here to the ATM and get enough money. Yeah, we will withdraw, and we want to get... Well, I'll just grab another hundred dollars. That should do it for us for now, I think. Let's go back over here. Talk to him. Buy the Sandlot Bat. Alright, we will equip it here. And we went from 30 to 45. Awesome. Let's see, wait, did he have anything else we need? Let me see what he's got. Copper bracelet? I think we actually might want that. Holmes hat and ribbon. The fry pan, the Holmes hat, and the ribbon, I think are, they're all for Paula. I don't know. If it's blacked out, that means he can't wear it. What does it mean if it's just, like, flat and not flashing like that? Does it mean it's an improvement? Oh, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we probably want to buy the copper bracelet, don't we? So let's get out enough money to do that, too. We'll go to the Atlantic Hello Machine. Let's see, how much do we need? It's, what is it, 300 something dollars? There we go. I'm not going to want to have all my money. My, I don't want to take out any more money than I actually really, really need, so... Let's see what we got. Copper bracelet? Can't carry anything else. Oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah, we will sell the cheap bracelet. We get 49 bucks. Very nice. And we will buy the copper bracelet, please. Alright, and we will equip it here. From 34. Alright, nice. And we're done. Okay, cool. So let's look at our stats. Offense 45, defense 34. We're doing pretty well, I think. Pretty well. Let's go ahead and exit. Now let's see, I believe if we head uh, through this cave right here, we can go and meet Paula, where she's being held prisoner. Yeah, I don't know if we've gotten the second dream sequence or not, or not but it ah, doesn't really bother me. Here is that house we were looking at earlier. Can I get auto kills on you? I feel like I should be able to. No? I still can't smack a spiteful crow? That's weird. I mean, I'm sure I'll kill him with one hit. Like, he's only doing one damage. He used to be doing eight when he did that move, I think. Some of our defense has increased. It's interesting. Oh, <laughs> we got a cookie. Amazing. Yeah, well, no. Abandon the cookie. Yes, we'll leave the cookie behind. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, we abandoned the cookie. Anyway, if you go into the shack here... Hey, looky looky. Look who it is. How you doing? Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe, therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I'd have to, I would have had to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpenter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? What, do you want to get fried by lightning? Get rid of something so I can give you the Franklin- Crap! We're having our inventory full is starting to become a pain. Um... I don't need a cold remedy. Let's just drop it. Alright, give me the Franklin badge. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. Okay, blah, 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 blah. So we have to get the key from this guy named Carpenter, apparently. And we get the Franklin badge. Doo -doo! Very nice. I'll wait here until you return. Come back and get me once you defeat Carpenter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. Alright, we'll do. See you later, babe. Um, what's going on here? Hey, Ness, you're just, <laughs> you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey, since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not gonna fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. You are an asshole, Pokey. Yeah, so we get the insane cultists, and I think that bird was just hanging around. I'm pretty sure that he's not usually in this fight. Let's just smack him with some PSI gaming. Yeah, the insane cultists, uh... Basically, what Carpenter's Happy Happyism is about is painting everything blue. Oh wow, I didn't kill him, huh? Yeah, they're trying to call for help here. We'll just bash him, see what that does. 
But yeah, that's why they're using uh, utilizing a paint attack. It's because happy happyism basically I think all it really says is to repeat the word blue over and over and paint everything blue. Not sure what's going on there. And we got a cookie. Now now we don't want to throw something away. Oh goodness. Is it gonna ask me this such every, every time I find an item? And you can try if you want, but you can't chase down Pokey. He runs off pretty quick. Let's look at our goods here. We'll do it if I can get over to it. Let's see, what else do we need? What do we not need that we've got? I don't think you actually have to equip... <laughs> I don't think you actually have to equip the Franklin Badge. I think you just have to have it held. Because it would be other, right? Hmm. Oops. Well, let's just leave that alone. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, alright, what, 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 what do we have that we can drop here? The hamburger, pencil eraser... Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff like the receiver phone, the pencil eraser... We can get rid of this hat, I suppose. Just, uh, whoops. No, no, no. Don't give it. Drop it. There you go. I suppose we could have sold it, but it's probably not worth that much anyway, so it's no big deal. And then we'll skip back through this cave here and go back out into the, the town. I don't think I want to go around and talk to some people so we can learn a little bit more about this whole happy happyism thing. Because, uh, I haven't really explained it very well, I don't think. Hello. I think that those who won't paint everything blue are opposed to peace. I want them all to listen, even if it requires kicking their butts. Alright. What about you? I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. Oh, what's this? We trust you. Feel free to shop here. What would you like to buy? You can get a banana or a fresh egg. We don't want to buy anything. But basically, once you, if you want to buy something, like I'll show you here. This is actually interesting. We'll check to this. And we'll say, oh, I want to buy a fresh egg. How much do you want to pay? I'm not going to pay anything. <laughs> Ness did not pay. Hehe. <laughs> So we're talking to this guy. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. I noticed you didn't pay. And he challenges you to a Pokemon battle. No, I'm just kidding. He just fights you. He needs the unassuming local guy. I think we've actually fought this enemy before, but yeah, he's not really a threat. He's just an unassuming local guy. He doesn't really assume much. You won this conversation, but the good side of you must ache with regret. Hehe. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, it seems like for a second there, Ness just disappeared. Did you guys see that? It was weird. Does she got like a plate on her head? What is she doing? One day, Mr. Carpenter, re Carpenter received the revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Hmm. Uh oh. You again? Oh, goodness. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not going to give you any money. You can just follow me around if you want. I'll pretend you're a teddy bear. Hey, here's one of the hippies that isn't actually possessed. Mr. Carpenter communicates with the divine, so he's able to deliver inspired messages. Why is this house blue? I mean, red instead of blue? Check it. Can I go inside? I'm not, I'm not sure. Boing. Friends in Valley Behind Three. Ding ding. What? Let me in. Yeah, that's all he says, huh? You see, that's a weird font. We're gonna get into that more later on. Yeah, there's a blue cow down here. Oh, that cultist saw me. We'll beat him up in a second. Let's talk to the cow. I'm just a plain old cow, but Mr. Carpenter messages always move me. Wow, really? This is the hotel, by the way, if you do wanna spend the night or something to heal. And as you're running around town, you'll be challenged randomly by these, uh, insane cultists here. And they're not really much of a threat. I think it's two bashes with the amount of uh, HP we've got, right? Oh, yeah, they are going to call for help. Did I just attack the new one instead of the one I was already weakening? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Let's be careful about that. But yeah, I, they're really not doing a whole lot of damage with that paint attack. It's just four damage. It's basically not a... It doesn't really stop us. Uh, it doesn't slow us down at all. And they're not uh, really challenging to fight against. And we got a, quite a lot of experience, actually. Was it 700 for fighting two of them? Man, I actually might grind on some of those guys. That's not so bad. I think that if we, when we go in here... Yeah. Okay, so if you look around, this is basically... They're not all going to come after you. This essentially is a maze of people. And there's certain people you can talk to that will either move out of your way or challenge you to a fight. And like this guy, we talk to him. Blue, blue. Oh, you'd like to be one of us? Then give up what you're doing and go meet the great Mr. Carpenter as soon as possible. Yeah, he moves out of the way, see? And we can get the present. What is it? Croissant inside. Oh, we have too much stuff already. Goodness, are you serious? Goodness. Can I eat this? <laughs> Seeing chicks makes you happy. <laughs> wow, I've, I've seen that screen cap before, but I didn't know what it was from. I didn't know it was from Earthbound. Wow, that's... That's really funny. I've I've heard that before. I just, oh man, <laughs> that's hilarious. 
Alright, I think this guy moves too. What? I'm blocking you. Oh, I'll move. Ah, oh, they're so nice. I think if you talk to any of them that aren't your aren't supposed to talk to, yeah, there's no response. I thought you could get them to fight you. I guess not. Blue, blue, I say. Oh, the torpedoes! Full seat ahead! Now I'll crush you. Yeah, some of them you, you don't get any response from. Some will actually go after you. And if you want, you can just defend for a bit to let these guys call in some help. Use a couple of PSI rocking on them, and you'll get uh, quite a bit of experience from taking these guys out, as from what we've seen. So let's see how much we get for uh, just killing this one guy. Oh, he dodged. Jeez. Yeah, he's just gonna be doing that, doing that paintbrush attack, so it's not very dangerous. So let's see, we take out one of them, and how much experience do we get from that? 350, wow, that's not bad. Yeah, this actually might not be a bad spot to do a little bit of grinding, but I'm not interested in doing that on screen. Now, some of these guys seem to be moving faster than the other ones, and those are the ones that you want to talk to. Like this guy here. Blue, blue. What? <laughs> Are you saying I'm a little capable of walking in place? That's not true, see? Thank you. How about you? Green, green. Uh, oh, that's not it. I'm still new at this. Yeah, it's okay. We forgive you. What's in here? Anything worth taking? It's a skip sandwich, isn't it? Ooh, call it. Alright, yeah, I looked at a map. Let's have a doing to that's what I'm doing to prepare. Can I just fight some of these guys? Blue, blue. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over there. And what about you? You strange, unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven. Oh, harsh. Whew, that was rough. That guy ended up calling for help, and I think I ended up killing six or seven of those guys. But yeah, that was well. That was a crummy level up, really. Fought that many guys, and that was that was the level up I kind of get. From, I get from that. The kind of level up I get from that. But wow, I got us like halfway to our next level already. So it's not so bad, I suppose. Look, like I'm moving really slowly. I got like the floor is sticky or something. Like, it was weird. Anyway, let's head up the stairs here. I'd love to fight Carpenter in this episode. Hello. I I screamed because I didn't know what else to do. Ah, oh, good plan. Wait, I'm not, I'm not gonna get stuck into the battle archive. Okay, good. Let's see. I'm gonna eat the hamburger because I'm sick of carrying it around, and because I'd like to restore some health. So we got the Franklin badge, which is gonna make this fight ridiculously easy. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change into a peaceful and happy society. Will you be my right hand assistant? Nah. You don't wanna be my right hand. My left would be just fine. Just kidding. Your resistance is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game. Oh gosh. If you don't have the Franklin badge for that, you will die. Now we'll just kill you right then and there, I think. I think it's scripted. Alright, so what do we want to do here? I think you can use paralysis on him. And since I haven't showed any of these yet, I'm going to try it. Yep, it worked. Wait, it didn't work. What the hell? Crashing boom bang attack. But the Franklin badge is going to deflect it back to him, so... He actually did it twice. Wow. He did a lot of damage to himself just then. Let's try again with the paralysis. Because I don't see him doing a whole lot of damage to us. Oh, he's recovering his own health. Wow, okay. Oh, I'd love to paralyze him. Yeah, his body became numb, so now he's not going to move a whole lot. But I think if we hit him, will his body... Yeah. Okay, he won't come back. That's nice. Yeah, we'll just keep smacking him around. We'll bash him a few times. If he ever gets around to firing lightning back at us... Ooh! Smash attack. And that finishes him off. Nicely done. Oh, we got almost enough experience to level up again. Do you see the Mighty Mighty statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain where Cabin where Paul was being held. Take the key and go. Woot woot! That's got the key to the cabin. Awesome! And so, I think, and then we're going to have to wait until the next episode to go and use that key. I don't think we have quite enough time, I'm not sure. You know what? Eh. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you at the cabin. What the? What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Ness, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay? Okay. I lied. See you, sucker. Pokey, I will kill you. You fat bastard. Alrighty, so here we are at the shack. This is where Paula is being held. Let's go ahead and open the door. Ness, you have the key. Are you hurt? Yeah. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Oh. Okay, I guess we have to use the key, don't we? Key to the cabin. Use. Ness, use the key to the cabin. Really? Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. 
I'm able to lose a little psychic power that's actually pretty deadly. What's it back to Tucson? And she grabs her teddy bear. And off we go. So now that I have fulfilled my promise of getting a second party member, we can end the, end the episode here. So in the next episode, we'll start leveling up Paul since he's actually useful, because right now, she's at a pathetic and wimpy. Wait, how do I look at hers? No, no, no. Level one. So I'll see you guys next time.